about the unifying profession and cuts that affect all areas of law. She specialises in prison law, public law and criminal appeals. Laura James. And she is consultant and co-legal director at the Howard League for Penal Reform. The Howard League, as I'm sure you know, have been huge supporters of our campaign. Um, and of course we're at the court yesterday uh, with a judicial review on legal age cuts. Laura herself has worked mainly with children and young people in penal detention and she also um, a few years ago set up Young Legal Aid Lawyers. I think the Young Legal Aid Lawyers are here. Are there any Young Legal Aid Lawyers here? Yes, there are. The future generation, God help you. Um, they tweet at YLA Lawyers and uh, Laura is also on Twitter. We're still um, tweeting and trying to get it trending for hashtag just for justice. So uh, over to the Howard League and big hand please, Laura Jane. Hello. I want to talk to you today about children in prison because there are over a thousand children sitting in prison right now as we speak. The Howard League for Penal Reform has a legal team that represents children and young people because we believe in safer communities and less crime. But Mr. Grayling has removed most prison law work from legal aid entirely. That means mothers cannot get legal help to remain with their babies inside prison. That means that prisoners who are eligible to move to open conditions, not released, just open conditions, will face the parole board alone. That means that children who have been granted early release because they have made great progress will not be able to get out of jail because they've got nowhere to go to and no lawyer to help them get a home and make a fresh start. These cuts are wrong in principle, not my words. The words of Lord Panic, a barrister whose job it was to fight against prisoners' rights in the court for the government. And nor is he alone in his grave concern. The parole board, Her Majesty's Council of Circuit Judges, the Chief Inspector of Prisons, and the Joint Committee of Human Rights have all said these cuts are no good. They're dangerous. But Mr. Grayling is not listening. He says quite clearly that he does not believe prisoners should have access to legal aid for no other reason that they are prisoners. He says that children and mentally ill prisoners can rely on the complaint system despite overwhelming evidence that it is not fit for purpose. His new system is inherently unfair and together with the Prisoners Advice Service who also represent adults in prison, the Howard League has had no choice recently but to issue a judicial review to challenge these cuts. <laughs> Yesterday in court, Mr. Grayling's lawyer told us that it's no matter if the complaint system doesn't work because let them judicially review. Well, Mr. Grayling is cutting down on judicial review too. There will be no guarantee of legal aid pre-permission and there will be heavy cost penalties at risk for charities who bring judicial reviews in the public interest. That's going through Parliament now. And again, there can be no other reason behind these plans than his wish to silence civil society. Well, we will not be silent. We will stand up for justice and the rule of law. Thank you, Laura. I mentioned earlier uh, young legal aid lawyers, and now I'm going to...